Hi and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my whole face with Fushisins Formulas products. So I have a bunch of Fushisins Formulas makeup. Some I have used for a couple years like this and this. And I just got the new Fushisins Formulas products. So today we are going to be testing out the new products and also using the older products. So if you have been interested to try out Fushisense Formulas products, this is a good video to watch because I'm going to be selling my favorite products and also testing out the new ones. So you will get a good overall look for a lot of Fushisense Formulas products. So if you're interested about the brand, let's go. <laughs> So, I have this new palette from Physicians Formula, of course. So this is Rose All Play Eyeshadow Pocket. And there are some amazing shades in here. And we are going to be testing out this. I don't have any eyeshadow primer, so I'm just going to use the one that I have. And let's do some eyeshadow. And of course, I didn't bring any of my brushes. This is much better. First, I'm going to put this shade on my lid. So because I really want to try this shade out, I think I'm going to go with this shade. Okay, there is not coming much. Oh, now there is. So there wasn't anything on my brush, so that's why it's blending out quite nice. And then next up, I'm going to put this on the outer corner to like darken it up a bit. So these eyeshadows actually are quite pigmented. Especially this was really pigmented. This is not maybe that blendable like Jeffree Star eyeshadows, but these are much more cheaper. So the blendability is really, really good for the price. So next up, I'm going to put up this shade and it's this glittery kind of like marble shade. I'm just going to put it with my finger. what are these white things because that is like marble pattern there comes these white dots that kind of don't blend in that is actually so pretty so i'm just going to put the same dark plum violet shade onto my lash line so i can darken it up a bit And this is actually kind of like blending itself. So I'm pleasantly surprised. This is looking so good. And I really like this kind of shades, but I just haven't had this kind of shade anywhere else than in the modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I'm really excited about this palette. This I look look so good so this was my first impression on this palette and i really like this and i'm absolutely going to use this more in the future i have this spotlight illuminating primer i have used this like a year or so and i actually like this but it doesn't smell the greatest and i really like how this looks on the skin as you can see it's a little bit glowy, not like the most glowy one, but it's a subtle glow and I really like this. And from the illuminating primers I have tested, this is definitely the best one from the more affordable ones. So this is a really good product. Then I'm also going to put on a silicone primer to my nose. This is not from Physicians Formula because I don't even think if they have one. So next up I have a new product. So this is Physicians Formula Organic Wear 
Silk Foundation Elixir with jojoba oil and this is a really runny foundation. And this is actually kind of too dry to put on with a brush, I don't know why. This is kind of like not settling in in here because I have a little bit dryness around my mouth and it's not settling in the prettiest on there but I'm kind of liking the finish. I will be testing this out more, I can't say more now but it's looking promising but not maybe for dry skin. So the mascara is now from Physicians Formula. I don't have anything from them. So next up, I'm just quickly going to put on some color corrector. This is also not from Physicians Formula. Then concealer from L'Oreal. And then next up, I have this new Physicians Formula Rose All Day Set and Glow illuminating powder and dewy palm Ooh. so there is two layers so the first one is the balm and then there is actually a whole like a highlighter i think it's definitely not like that shimmery but it is it has like a glow to it so should i try this on my face. I'm just a little bit scared to put this underneath my eyes. I don't think that's the best idea, but it's not actually that shiny. You actually can put that underneath your eyes. Okay. I'm kind of surprised that that actually works underneath the eyes. Before I put powder on this side, I actually want to try out this. So this is like a dewy... Oh, this is like Vaseline. How is this going to work? I'm just a little bit worried that this is going to melt the foundation underneath. It actually smells a little bit like roses. Not strongly, but a little bit. That is looking like so subtle, but so pretty. But let's put on the powder everywhere else. My face is just looking like a bit more healthy, a little bit glowy, but still matte. I'm kind of intrigued. I'm definitely going to be trying this more and I really, really like it. So next up, I have one of my ultimate favorite from Physicians Formula. So this is Butter Bronzer. This is the lighter shade and it looks like this. And this is a really, really good color for a bell curl like me. I really, really like this. And this is actually one of my favorite bronzers. So it's really good. As you can see, it's not too dark. It's not too orange. And I also like to put some on my nose. So as you can see, it really like gets some color on to my skin, but it's looking really natural, not orange, not too dark. So this is absolutely one of my favorite products from Physicians Formula, but there is a lot more favorites. So let's get into the next one. So the next one is actually kind of like an highlighter but kind of like a powder so this is something that i've been really loving using so this is actually called butter blush in the shade natural glow so i'm just going to take like a fluffier brush blush brush like a brush and just 
put this all over where I would highlight my face. So this is really subtle, like really subtle, subtle, subtle. I don't even know anymore. But this looks so good in person. I don't know if this is going to catch on the camera. But this looks really good as in like really, really subtle highlighter. Or if you just want like an inner glow to your skin, this is really good for that. But if you're really, really pale, like even more paler than me, this is maybe going to be too dark. I can only use this lightly because of the peach tone that is in it. Then I actually have a new product. So this is Fusion's Formula Butter Highlighter. And this is kind of like almost like a silvery white. So that was a trouble getting out of the packaging. I even needed a knife. So <laughs> here is the highlighter. So this is actually not in the same kind of packaging that the others are. This is actually a roll up. And here is the highlighter. So let's see. Yes, it's definitely more intense and more like glittery. This is definitely bringing out my texture that is not looking the best like it looks good far away but up close it's bringing all the texture from the concealer so i was hoping a lot from this because this is from the butter collection and i have loved every single product from that line this no then the next product is my old favorite. So this is the Potter blush and this is in the shade Rosy Pink and I like pink blushes. So this is my absolute favorite one. I also have this Plum Rose shade, but this is kind of light and more like a cool toned one. So I definitely enjoy the pink, rosy pink one more and this is one of my favorite blushes. So this is a really good one and also smells tropical and sweet. So I love this. <laughs> and I also like these blushes because when you're putting your brush in here, like barely nothing comes off and that is a good thing when it comes to blushes because you can just put a little bit at a time and then if you need more, you can take a little bit more and you don't get those clown cheeks. So I really enjoy the formula and the color and these are just really subtle, really natural. So if you're not that into blushes, this could be something great to start with because it's a lot more lighter. You don't put too much on. And then next up, I'm going to put on some setting spray. This is from Beauty Blender. I don't have nothing else. And then next up, I will do my brows. I don't have nothing from Precision's formula to do my brows, so I'm just going to do them off camera. And now it is time for lips, and that is the last step. So I have tried uh, the Precision's formula, the Healthy Lip Velvet Venice. These are kind of like liquid lipstick, but they aren't that dry and the color is stunning. I have the color Dose of Rose. So this is a really, really stunning color. And I've been really enjoying these. These are kind of also long lasting. They are not like fully liquid lipstick. They are more like an velvet finish as it says. But today I thought I would try out this new Persistence Formula Muru Muru Butter lip creams. I have four shades in here. This is an in a roll up tube. You maybe can't make this like super crisp, but I'm actually going to try this out like this because I think this would be a product that I would like to use like straight from the tube. So 
So this is actually looking really good. This is so comfortable on the lips. It's kind of a little bit like slippery, kind of like cream-like, but it's not bothering at all. And I really enjoy the color. This is definitely something that I would wear a lot when I don't have any eye makeup because this would bring a little bit of color, a little bit of healthiness. I think you could also use this as a blush, but I really enjoy this formula. So this is basically the finished look. I'm liking this so much. I haven't done like a rosy eye for so long and this glittery shade is so pretty. I'm just like obsessed, like the eyeshadow palette was so good. So to sum this video up, which products did I really, really like from the new ones? I definitely really loved the eyeshadow palette. I think this is a really good palette. And I also really liked the butter lip creams that I'm wearing the shade Pinkity. I think these two were definitely winners for this tryout. Then I also liked, not loved these two products. I definitely have to try these out more. So the foundation, you really have to try out the foundation many, many times before you can say kind of something about it. But it's sticking a little bit on my drier areas, but otherwise I really like the finish. And I also kind of like this. I'm not like wowed about this, but I really enjoyed this. And I think the balm is going to be really pretty when it, you're wearing like minimum makeup or nothing at all. So I'm definitely going to try that out more in the future. And then this product, don't like it won't use it again. It's too white, too silvery. And then also from the older products, I will tell you my five favorites. So I really like the butter blushes, butter bronzers. These are my two absolutely favorite products from Physicians Formula. Then I also really love the Spotlight Illuminating Primer. And then I also really love the Healthy Lip Velvet Finish Liquid Lipstick. Definitely this color, this is Dose of Rose, so this is absolutely a really good product from Physicians Formula. And I also like the Healthy Foundation, this is really really light coverage, so if you like like BB CC creams, this is definitely there, maybe on the lighter end of BB CC creams. Not super matte, not super glowy. So I really, really enjoy also this from Frisians Formula. So hopefully you learned something new from this video and maybe found some good products that you would want to try out and also avoid something that aren't maybe for you or weren't that great. So that is basically it. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I really hope that you do and that is it. Till next time, bye!